Welcome back everyone, I'm Cosmo and you're watching the Cosmodo channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different and that's 3D printing new center caps for my Volkswagen Golf. These are the original ones and they still look pretty good, however the clear coat is getting messed up. So I was thinking maybe I can uh, try printing my own. Uh, hopefully they don't look like crap, hopefully they work well. And the biggest thing that I need to do is actually copy this tab design because that's what snaps into the rim and that's the important part. So everything else I can design whoever I want, but this has to be exactly the same. So what I've done is I've taken some measurements right there. No, not, uh, you know, not the best drawing, but that's all I need. And now I'll show you how I transfer all of that into CAD and uh, how I get it ready for 3D printing. So let's get into that. Alrighty everyone, so this footage is pre-recorded, I don't have my own copy of SolidWorks, so I had to do this after work, at my work, and I'm just going to go through the steps of how I designed the center cap with you guys, and hopefully you, you enjoy this part. So as you can see here, I have the profile that I sketched out on paper from the measurements that I took from the physical cap, and what I do with this profile is I actually revolve it. I revolve it to make one... Uh, one solid flange like so. Now obviously we're gonna need to make cuts but that comes after. So now I made the base, right? I measured the outside diameter of uh, of the original cap and I basically just mimicked it for this one. Uh, for now I'm just gonna go with a flat face. I'm not doing anything crazy, I just want to make sure they fit first. So afterwards we do the cut. We do one cut, and for some reason I couldn't get the wrap feature to work on here, so this cut is not actually, uh, it's not perpendicular to the tangent of the curvature. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> As you can see, it's just a straight through, but that's okay. It doesn't really affect, uh, affect the performance of it in any way. So now we have to pattern it. We have to pattern it to create all four tabs. Now we have our all four tabs that will hopefully, uh, you know, work. Now we have to create little pins to make sure that the retaining ring, which you will see further on in the video, doesn't slide down all the way. So we got our little pins right there. And granted, I think I can make this a little beefier, but for the sake of uh, shorter print time and, and just prototyping, we can leave it as is. I would never sell or give anybody this thing with a tiny little pin like that because I know it's going to break off. Anyway, we do another pattern, so now we've got four of them. So now the retaining ring can sit snugly. And now we can move on to the front face, which has our VW logo. I just got this logo off the internet. I converted it to a vector, uh, put it into SolidWorks. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. Just did an extrude, extrude cut rather. See, there's a sketch right there. And that's how, uh, that's how we got the VW logo in the middle. Now I wanted to spice it up a little, maybe add some sort of design. So I figured what better than some slots. <laughs> I'm sure I could have come up with a better design than this, but this is what I have to work with right now. And I think this will look pretty cool regardless. I uh, put eight slots in. The wheels have eight spokes, so it might look cool. We'll see. So anyway, now that we, we are done with our model, and we're ready to print it, we have to slice it for 3D printing. And for that, we have to use a different software. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm back in a different software, and the point of this software is to prepare your part for 3D printing. Basically what it does is it takes your part and slices it into many, many, many layers and generates a code for each of those layers, which your machine can then interpret and know where to go to to extrude hot molten plastic effectively making the part that you desire. So let's import our center cap. And oh boy, this thing will just fit. That's what she said. <laughs> we gotta rotate it and we have to center it. And there we go. Like I said, definitely will just fit. <laughs> this will definitely be a good test of uh, printing larger things. I think this is the widest thing that I've printed. So this will be fun. Uh, I know my settings are okay. So let's just prepare it to print. You can see right there, it's, it's got tons of layers. It's hard to move the software around, but there you go. It's got tons of layers, and uh, that's that's what the printer sees. That's how the printer will be uh, basically building the part, layer by layer. So we're going to save that, and we're going to jump right into 3D printing.
print is done, I'm just letting it cool down. Now there's one thing that uh, I'm going to have to do and is transfer this metal ring here. What it does is it expands uh, the tabs and I guess makes a tighter fit. So I got to get this ring out. Uh, it's pretty easy. So there we go. Now I just got to get my part and put that in there. Here's the finished product. It's uh, It's got a bit of a funky pattern on it, but you know what? I kind of like it and this is just a test anyway, so um, yeah, I can always make more, I can always adjust my print quality, but this looks awesome. So let's put that ring in, let's see if it fits. I did make these pins a little too, uh, too thin, so I gotta be careful not to snap them off. There we go, nice, ready, we're ready to uh, go test fit it. Alrighty, let's see how this, uh, see how this works. Nice! Whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> that's sweet. Oh, that's awesome. Let's sit back and enjoy that view. That, that's a really good fit. I didn't know it would fit this well. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm so pumped. <laughs> well, I went ahead and I printed three more. I got a black one here. Another black one here. And you saw the front black one. And on the front left, I decided to go Ken Block style. <laughs> I printed a clear one. I don't know how I feel about it. But, man, rims are already getting dirty. Literally had them on for like one and a half days. But, anyway, printed a clear one because I thought maybe it would be cool to uh, put some LEDs behind it. But that may be another another video or maybe not we'll see I do think they look pretty cool um, I was playing around with fitment and one of these is like a spinner so I might reprint it it's kinda like a spinner <laughs> but that front one the first one that I printed was perfect um, I was just worried that if it's a little too tight then it'll be hard to junk it'll be hard to uh, get it out but I don't know Hopefully I don't need to uh, take it off anytime soon. And if I do, it's and if it breaks, then you know it's three hours to print another one, and like like two dollars in material. So whatever, it is what it is. And I can always recycle that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was pretty fun, just kind of like a mini project, mini mod for my car. Um, pretty pretty happy how how they came out I'm gonna think of other things that I can 3d print let me know if you guys enjoy this kind of video uh, me trying to 3d print functional things for my vehicles I'll see what I can do for uh, for my bike I did actually is my car open my car is open uh, I 3d printed a lever and there's two things I want to try I want to make bushings for this hole in this hole and then try and use it as is because honestly I tried breaking this and it's nearly impossible um, bugs bugs are out weather's awesome but the bugs are out um, the other thing I wanted to do is try printing this on very 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 low infill and casting it so just melting down some aluminum and casting my own lever uh, if that works out then I might cast some other parts well once again guys thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs down and uh, stay tuned for more prints. I'm going to try to do this a little more. Maybe print some stuff for my bike. Maybe print some more stuff for my car. If you guys have any ideas or uh, if you have anything that you need printed, I'd be happy to give it a go. Something exciting though. I don't want anything static. I want something useful. Um, I think Roscoe here agrees. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? You want to share your opinion with the world? No, you just want to go outside. Well, that's that, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.